Hello friend, welcome to Change Bible Study. I'm Chris Bailey and we are studying kindness in our lesson this week. As we are studying kindness, we've been focusing on the recipient or the people, the person that we want to show this kindness to. But today we want to focus on a promise of kindness, kind acts, kind words. What happens when we plant those seeds? Well, the Bible says we're going to reap a harvest. But let's go to the Bible and back that promise up. Shall we pray? Thanking you, Lord, that there is a promise that you will send back what you give out through us. So we win twice. Help us to understand this as we study today in your name. Amen. Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6 in the New Testament gospel. And we're going to read verse 38. The words of Christ. Luke 6 and in verse 38. The Bible says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet, with all it shall be measured to you again. In other words, what you give is what you get. When we live these lives of kind acts, when we are intentional and in choosing to bless people, when we uh, are, are criticizing constructively, always trying to improve the person, but not just beat them down or tear them down for our own edification. When we do this in, in, in the way of the Spirit, the Bible says not only is that person blessed, not only will you see a change in how they behave or even react to you, but Jesus says, that that kindness will come back. Now this verse is really easy in certain contexts. But what about people who just try your spirit? I'm talking about people who break your spirit. Some of us are in relationships that are toxic on many levels. It could be an abusive relationship in some way. And we're looking for ways, perhaps, as a parent to turn a child around who's lost his way. You, he's not a baby anymore. She's not a little, a little child anymore, but she's grown now. But how can I win her after I may have missed out those opportunities to, to mold her when she was younger? Jesus says kindness will go a long way to change and to bring people to a place we want them to be. And, and when we do that, that kindness that we give it will come back. So, in essence, if I want respect from an individual, I have to give respect because I cannot get back what I have not invested. Um, if I want attention from someone, if I want someone to spend time with me, the Bible says give and it shall be given unto you. To get it back, you've got to give time. If you want passion, if you want a, 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 a romance to your marriage or your relationship that is, is just um, lagging, Jesus is saying, you got to be a romantic. Give and it will be given. And the promise is that it will be given back in a greater measure than you gave. And that will let us know that, you know what, this wasn't me. Because I only put in five, but I'm getting back seven. I only put in eight, but I'm getting back 16. I only put in 10, but I'm getting back a thousand. You will know, hey, what I gave wasn't even me. This was the Spirit, even the fruit of the Spirit. So remember, friend, what we want, what we are desiring, what we are looking for, we got to give it. Modeling our behavior, friend, goes so long. It goes longer than anything you could ever say. Because Jesus promised it. Whatever measure you meet out, whatever you give, it's going to come back. And it's going to even come back greater than you gave it before. Until then, let's pray that, Lord, we will remember this principle and, and, and claim it and live it and invest wisely. Thank you for the harvest and the harvest to come. In your name we pray. Amen. God bless you, my friends. And please remember, change is good.